Greetings everyone, Marvin Ford here with another Great American Survival and in today's video we're going to be talking about another wonderful kayak available out there on the market today. We're going to be talking about the Sun Dolphin Boss 12 SS Kayak, which is an incredible sit-on-top kayak made here in the United States. Now it's made in Utah, made by the Emotion Kayak Company. Guys, this boat costs you about $550 all the way up to $650, depending on where you're buying it. But guys, this boat is exceptional. I am so blown away with, but with what I got for the price I paid for this. Uh, it's awesome. So if you're looking at buying a budget-friendly fishing kayak that's gonna really put you on the water and you're gonna be able to stand and fish and do everything, this just might be the boat for you. Stick with us, I'll tell you all about it. This video is intended for all ages. All right, so first off, let's start on the very front of this boat. The very front of this boat, very nice, very, the way the hull's designed, it travels really well through the water. It paddles really well. I've had it out on the water a couple times, and um, it's been great. Like I said, I did own one of these originally years ago, but it was a little different. It was a different model. Um, it was, it was like the first style that they had. It wasn't nearly as nice as this. Um, up front, you've got a front and rear drain plug front rear and side grab handles to carry very ergonomic they're not going to slip they're really you can really get a good purchase on them when you're holding on to them front tank well area very nice when i was out on the water i was actually able to because of the stability of this boat i was able to stand all the way up here all the way up here yeah the back end was almost out was out of the water but i was able to do it and not tip over uh, the way the boat is designed uh, the front tank well area here has this one huge bungee, and I do like the fact that it's all attached with one J-clip over here, or one uh, pad eye. And then you've got five J-clips to tie down however you want, because not all your storage areas are going to be the same. Sometimes you're going to have a bunch of dry bags. Sometimes if you're carrying tents and stuff, or a grill, or a cooler, you could stick that up front, and you've got a lot of room. I would have liked it to at least had a remove where you could remove it. Put a cleat on it where you could flip it up and remove that bungee on that side. I like that. I like the way they did this. I like the fact that it's easy to remove. You can do it however you want. There is no set way to tie the bungee off and like that. Good heavy duty UV bungees so it's not going to break down after a little bit of sun exposure. We got a front hatch. We're going to walk back there to that. When you get to this area, this is where this is one of my favorite parts. Uh, you have two forward facing rod holders, which allow you to, when you're standing and fishing here, to rest your rods. So if you're throwing a bait caster and working a topwater or whatever you're doing fishing, um, you can use your finesse rod, leave, put a spinning reel down in here or a couple spinning reels. It's entirely up to you. You're not laying them on the deck, but they're far enough forward where they're leaning out where you can still cast forward, cast to your side, and everything big wide open hatch area huge hatch um, you can easily drop your 10 and 20 pound dry bags down in here if you're going somewhere um, it does come with a little drop in which just allows it where if you're putting something small in here like right now it's just my gopro and i found a lure when we we're out it's one of my gopro carriers it allows you to put something down in there and it not slide down in whether it's a bottle of water or whatever it might be it's not going to slide under down inside the bottom of the boat um, up here we have a, um, we've got two footrests that are pretty sturdy and adjustable. Uh, we've got two scubber holes up front. Now the weird part was when they came, they are not drilled out. They're still not drilled out. I haven't drilled them out. Uh, the factory sends them out like that. They say some people don't want them that way. But this boat turns into a bathtub if you take on water. Uh, you have to be able to get water out. Now this was one of the weird things is there are four scubber holes cut out in the traction pads, but there are two more located in the boat. There are eight total, and only two of them are accessible, which is kind of odd. And that was just one of the things for me. Uh, we do have a stand assist strap, which if you're sitting down, allows you to stand up. I added a T-handle to it uh, from one of these little fitness band kits. But the, if you don't, the ruler is a sleeve and it'll just slide off. 
Uh, one of the big negatives for me is my traction pads. This boat is less than a week old and, or just over a week old, and my traction pads are already lifting. And it's not just there, it's there. Um, I think it's back there somewhere too. Just weird. I hate that. I'm gonna have to contact the factory to go from there. Next, we have the area where the seat goes. So, oh, the seat came out for me. It's not easy to get out. It doesn't just fall out usually. We have a gear track right here. Kind of weird. A little attention to detail bother me when it comes to kayaks. Um, it's missing a screw here. Something else in here wasn't done right. Like the when the seat's installed, it wasn't adjusted. It wasn't seated right. So you couldn't snap. The front one wouldn't go all the way in. Had to adjust that. That's fine. Uh, it does have, like I said, you've got four grab handles. Two, one in the front, one in the rear, and one on each side. Nice little store, nice little bevel here for a water bottle or whatever you're looking at. Whether you're fishing, drop your lure right there just to kind of keep it from going somewhere. Uh, the seat is mounted on a really odd bracket, and instead of cutting out the traction pads, they kind of just went over it, which is kind of odd, and I don't see that sticking very well. I see that being an issue down the road. Uh, we will show you the seat. The seat is one of the highlights. Just amazing. Once you get back here, this is your paddle holder, your paddle leash, or, you know, it's just a bungee. I like the fact that the way they did this, so it's not inside the boat, it's just accessible. So if, when the bungee breaks, which if you have it for any length of time, they will, it's wide enough. You can just stick another cord down through there, um, replace it, and it's not gonna be a good, a bad idea, you know? Um, like I said, the high-low seat is a good design. The seat is so very comfortable. Uh, the one thing I didn't like about it is it doesn't take any effort for the thing to fall forward. I've heard people have horror stories of it falling forward from the high to the low. Haven't had that issue yet. Um, I did have to adjust mine, so hopefully by adjusting it, it won't happen. So, But it doesn't like snap in. Would have been great just to put a little notch, a little bit of an excessive amount of plastic right here just to give it a little something to snap into so it's not going to go anywhere. Further back, we have another storage unit, another wonderful big dry hatch. It comes with our scubber plugs, only comes with four. Like I said, there are eight holes. You'll see that when I flip it. That's our rod holder that it came with. Very nice, works. Goes into that little mount up front. Got two rear-facing rod holders, and then we have another huge tank well. Huge tank well. I love it. This thing's got lots of room. This is kind of in an odd position, but you still have a big enough one to place your milk, your fishing crate or anything like that back here. Last but not least, we have another drain plug. We also have another grab handle, as I mentioned. And then underneath, when I flip it over, you'll see it's got a skid plate that's removable and replaceable. Very cool, but it was just really, really small. Let me grab the seat and I'll show you it. This is our seat, very, very comfortable. Lots of different adjustments. You can adjust these that control its firmness. Uh, the back is the same way, depending on how you wanna use it. Then you have this one bungee that goes up. You have another one that goes down that attaches back here. Um, in case you're wondering, that's kind of what I've gathered that this is what this is for. This little tie off is to tie off to that because the bungee, if it's in that chair, it's designed for you to lay it down and tie it off for when you're transporting. As you see, the bottom, the way the bottom is designed, it is incredible. That is what allows it to be so stable and track really well. Um, they call it a catamaran style, which works really, really well. It's not great for rivers, but on lakes and open water, like on out, offshore or out on the intercoastal, this is gonna be great, especially if you plan on running a trolling motor or anything like that on this. But as you see, Removable skid plate, way too small. As you see, I've had this for a week and I've already ground into it. Uh, I've only dragging it um, across the, like up, a, up to the boat ramp. Like when I paddled up to the boat ramp, has not been drug on the boat ramp. It was carried, but just b beaching it, that's what happens. Um, these are the scubber holes I was talking about. Really weird. I understand their principle of leaving them solid so you can drill them out, but as you see, Eight scubber holes, only four on the top. Very, very front. Tracks really, really well, and that's why. The keel is really nice, runs front to back, really well designed. Very comfortable boat. I really like this boat. 
So there you go. What do you guys think? Do you guys think for $600, this is a kayak worth buying? If you do, comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Now, if you can think of another $600 kayak that you think is a better fit than this and has better bells and whistles and is a better quality, shoot it down below. I'd love to hear from you guys because that's how I find out about other kayaks and I find out which ones you guys really want to see me test. Um, I do live in Georgia, so I'm trying to get in touch with Vibe and Crescent because they're both based here in Georgia, and I would love to be able to test some of their kayaks. Um, but so far, I haven't been able to do that. Uh, the things I didn't understand, I didn't understand the scubber holes. Now, the scubber holes from the factory, they come solid. They're not drilled out, and that is because they said some people just don't want them that way. Now, I don't understand that, and I don't understand why there's four sets of scubber holes, but only two of them are cut out through the traction pads. That's kind of weird. Um, but scubber holes are there for a reason. Now, if you have ever used a sit-in kayak, well, you know when you flip a sit-in kayak, it turns into a bathtub, basically. These kayaks right here, <coughs> those holes are designed for if you flip your kayak or if you take a wave across the bow, say, like, this boat has a 500-pound capacity. Well, 500 pounds, say you're 250 and you have a trolling motor and a battery. So you're another 100, 100 pounds, 150 pounds. You're pushing four. Water weighs seven pounds for every gallon. It does not take much to add up to filling up the front of this boat with water before this boat's going under. These holes are there for water to go out. When your water takes, boat takes on water, the water goes out without going inside the boat and it gets out of the boat and it allows you to get back up. You know, it's, the boat will go back higher and all the water will come out. Because trust me, if you're out on the water, you're gonna take waves, it happens. Plus, you're gonna flip it eventually. Now this one, I'll give it that. This thing's really stable. I actually was standing all the way up here in the front tank well area, all the way in the very, very front, trying to sink this thing, trying to flip it. I couldn't do it. Now don't get me wrong, I'm sure if I stood on the side gunnels or any of that, I could probably do it. But this boat was really, really stable. You've got a huge side when it comes to the gunnels to when you're sitting in it before you're gonna probably fall out of the boat before the boat flips, honestly. Um, but other than that, tell me what you think. If you guys have any questions or concerns, shoot them in the comments down below. And if you guys would like to see some more, I will be doing some water tests and I'll also give you an update on how this thing does after a month or so. So look forward to that. And if you're new to our channel and you want to try out a kayak, guys, shoot me the questions down below. I've been doing this for 30 years and I've owned hundreds of kayaks. Uh, I love kayaks. They're so much fun. But guys, we couldn't do this without you. We thank you guys for stopping by. And if you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and join us. Uh, hit the bell and get notified every time we post a new video. And we cover a lot of things here that just try to help you improve your lifestyle and just have better time outdoors. So thank you guys for stopping by. Hope you guys have a great week. Thanks again. And remember, take time this week to get out there. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy nature. Be prepared. Stay safe. God bless, guys. We'll see you soon. I've got a plane passing over.